Balake. Where is Balake at? My name is Blake. Do you want to go to war, Balake? I'm for real. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is back. Bringing back the A.A. Ron intro. I'm falling in love with it all over again. Um, well, boy, oh boy, I'm so exhausted from exhilaration that I can't believe it's only Wednesday night. It feels like Friday night at 2.30 a.m. is what it feels like. I mean, I am physically exhausted from exhilaration and from crying a bit. I'm not going to lie. Crying, crying takes a little, little bit out of me. <laughs> um, anyway, I've chatted with the Jane Doe's. I've chatted with Leah Remini. And um, <clears throat> the Twitterverse is exploding over all of this, which is amazing. You know, the more exposure to this, the better. The more, the more people understand what a big deal Danny Masterson's conviction is for uh, the world of Scientology, for the possibility of more Scientologist victims being able to get justice, for people who are um, uh, abused in Scientology to understand that the legal system can and will work, can work, might work, is capable of working. Um, it's a pretty big deal. So Leah's put out a statement about it and, um, you know, she put out her statement on Substack. I'm guessing a lot, most people don't know Leah has a Substack. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people don't know what Substack even is. I, uh, deal with it a lot. I barely understand what it is. Um, and so I figured most of you aren't going to see her statement and I figured that that's what my channel's here for. I'm going to read it for you guys. I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, let me show this here real quick. You know, many of you guys may not actually know that Leah has a YouTube channel. Uh, that she's been doing some stuff with lately. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Yeah, this is Leah's YouTube channel. There's probably some imitations out there, but this is the real one. Um, so you can check that out. And let's go through this. It's not long. I'll just share it with you guys, though. Um, Scientologist Danny Masterson is a convicted rapist. This afternoon, a jury in Los Angeles found celebrity Scientologist Danny Masterson guilty of two counts of rape. Here is my statement on the verdicts. The two guilty verdicts in the rape trial of celebrity Scientologist Danny Masterson are a relief. The women who survived Danny Masterson's predation are heroes. For years, they and their families have faced vicious attacks and harassment from Scientology and Danny's well-funded legal team. Nevertheless, they soldiered on, determined to seek justice. While it is up to them to decide whether they are satisfied with this verdict, I am relieved that Danny Masterson is facing some justice after over two decades of brutal sexual violence with no criminal consequences. To Chrissy Bixler, Jane Doe 3, whose count ended in a hung jury, I know Danny raped you. I know that Scientology tried to destroy you. However, this case would not have moved forward and resulted in two guilty verdicts if it were not for you. I am sorry you didn't receive a guilty verdict on your charges you deserved one but please never forget that justice would not have been served if it were not for you so true although scientology and its leader david miscavige were not formal defendants they played a significant role in obstructing justice in this case and other instances of sexual violence senior scientology officials civilian scientologists and their proxies have conspired to silence victims and intimidate witnesses for decades this case is just the beginning of our plan to hold them accountable I speak only for myself when I want to thank Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Reinhold Mueller, Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Ariel Anson, and their staff for their relentless pursuit of justice for the last six years. I want to thank Judge Charlene Almedo for her professionalism and for not allowing Scientology's antics to disrupt this trial. While I am often issuing harsh statements against the LAPD, in this case, I want to thank the LAPD detectives in this case. <laughs> um, am I reading it wrong? Let me do it again. While I am often issuing harsh statements against the LAPD in this case, I want to thank the LAPD detectives in this case. All right, it's not me. It was Leah. Okay. <laughs> they faced relentless harassment from Scientology as well and kept moving forward. Yes, there's probably much more that could be said about that. Finally, to the jury, thank you for seeing the truth. Thank you for not allowing emotions to get in the way of cold, hard facts. Thank you for showing Scientologists, former and current, that justice is not only possible, but that they should come to expect it. 
And thank you to all of you who have supported the women who faced hell to fight for justice. Every reply, every retweet, every like, it all mattered. What a nice statement. Um, a, a couple of thoughts that I have real quick. So she mentioned here, Chrissy Bixler. Now you might wonder, you know, let me switch the view for a moment. Uh, you might wonder why, why is she using the full name when um, we call her Jane Doe 3? For the purposes of the court, um, people who were already, who, whose identities were already known were referred to as Jane Doe's um, just as a matter of proper procedure. I don't claim to know all of the intricacies of why those rules are the way that they are. Um, maybe it's just a matter of uh, if you have some Jane Doe's and you have all Jane Doe's. I just truly don't know. Chrissy Bixler actually did appear in the series finale of Scientology in the Aftermath. Uh, some of you guys may recall, there was three seasons and the third season sort of had an ending that seemed like it was the end of season three. Um, but then there was like a couple months later, a special episode that was billed as the series finale. Um, and Chrissy Bixler was one of Danny's victims who spoke up in in that episode, she was interviewed. She was interviewed in the episode. Um, there was another victim of Danny's named uh, Bobette who um, who was in that episode. For whatever reason, the district attorney chose not to have her as a charged victim in the, in the trial itself. And she also didn't end up testifying as a witness. But that's yet another victim. So there's the three who were charged. There's... Uh, the one, the the fourth from Canada who testified in this case. There's the fifth who testified in the last trial but didn't testify in this one. There's Bobette. That's six. I know of another one in Scientology. In Scientology, still in Scientology. That's seven. Uh, there's another one that is has been referred to in this trial as the Lily rumor. I know what that rumor is. That's eight. And that's all we know of. That's all we know of. So even though Danny Masterson is now found guilty on two counts of forcible rape, when it comes time for the judge to sentence him, I dare say she may be taking into consideration all of these other women that we know about, many of whom we have heard of, who simply weren't charged victims in this trial. Truly incredible. Uh, there was some other part of this that made me want to um, offer some extra thoughts here. Give me one moment. Oh, probably about the LAPD. In this case, the oh, oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. The LAPD faced relentless harassment from Scientology as well and kept moving forward. Guys, the LAPD's, um, the harassment direct, directed at the LAPD is intimately involved in how we even came to know that Scientology attorney and professional bridge dweller troll Vicky Pod Bereski had come into possession of the discovery file in this case. Because just before the detectives were set to testify in this trial, Vicky Pod Bereski, Scientology's attorney, had filed formal complaints against the detectives with the LAPD claiming them of having provided biased and knowingly false testimony against Scientology in the first trial. Scientology tried to get the detectives investigated just as they were preparing to take the stand again in this trial, you want to talk about witness intimidation. These morons tried to engage in detective intimidation. <laughs> and it was in the emails that Vicki Podbereski was sending to the LAPD that she included a link to the shared folder where she had her copy of the discovery file of the, the redacted discovery file in the criminal trial that she wasn't supposed to have. This is how stupid these guys are. It's like a posse of, of clown cars over there <laughs> or whatever, whatever the right words would be. Um, so, uh, and, and that, that just jogged my memory when, when Leah mentioned uh, the harassment of the LAPD there, because, because truthfully prior to that incident, which guys, this occurred like four weeks ago, this only came up like four weeks, three, four weeks ago. Prior to that, I'm not actually sure what intimidation or harassment 
um, the LAPD had received prior to that. And for you guys who've been paying really close attention to this coverage, you might remember that Detective Vargas, that's a male, he's a, he's a man, he's a guy. He testified in the first trial. He didn't testify in this trial. Now, I, as an unqualified spectator, observer, layman, I know nothing, guys. I grew up in a cult. I offer to you the possibility, just the possibility. I don't have any inside information here. I offer to you the possibility that Detective Vargas was so incensed and offended and insulted at his character and his reputation being attacked and him being harassed and attacked while preparing to take the stand again, I wonder if that has something to do with why Detective Vargas didn't take the stand. Detective Vargas couldn't remember anything. Gosh, I just, I can't really remember anything. Now guys, I'm taking a lot of liberties here. I'm, 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 I'm taking a lot of liberties here. I'm, I'm creating scenarios that may not have anything to do with anything. We're off into imagination land. But I'm just wondering if Scientology trying to fair game the LAPD detectives had anything to do with how the LAPD detectives ended up testifying or not testifying once they got on the stand. Because in addition to Vargas not testifying, what else happened? Detective Reyes took this stand. Uh, she has a new name because she's married. It was a Detective Miape, but everyone knows her as Detective Reyes. All of a sudden, Detective Reyes had some amazing things to say in her testimony in this trial that she didn't say last time. <laughs> in the first trial, Detective Reyes is the one that the defense used to create the impression that the victims had, um, what's the word, contaminated each other's testimony by talking amongst themselves, even though they were instructed not to. The defense used the fact that Detective Reyes had instructed them not to talk to each other, and that if they did, it would destroy the case, it would be lethal to the case, it would ruin it, it would contaminate the testimony. And they uh, they created an impression in the jury that, that, uh, that these women disobeyed orders and talked to each other, and they could be colluding. Well, when Reyes took the stand this time, she had a little more to say. She goes, yes, I told them that. Yes, I told them that. But I also told them I didn't think that they had done that. And, uh, and he's like, oh, did you know they spoke to each other? Did, did they, did they, uh, did they uh, ignore your advice? Oh, she goes, oh, that advice is just the advice I give to everyone. That's standard advice. I wasn't giving them that advice to them like specifically. I don't think they, she actually said, I don't think they contaminate, they did not contaminate the evidence. In my professional opinion, the victims did not contaminate the case or their testimony by speaking to each other. All of a sudden, Philip Cohen was like, you are not qualified to have an opinion as to whether they contaminated uh, the testimony and you're a horrible detective. All of a sudden, Cohen went from trying to act like Reyes was God's gift to uh, a supervising three detective to now she was completely unqualified to even do her job or have an opinion and, and, and all this stuff. It was amazing. It was amazing. So one detective chose not to testify. The other detective got on the stand and said a whole bunch of shit she'd never said before to help the victims, to help the prosecution. I shouldn't say to help. I should say that did help. I don't want to uh, put intentions into her head. But the effect was her testimony was much more helpful to the prosecution this time around than it was last time around. I wonder if Scientology trying to fair game the detectives might have had anything to do with that. <laughs> it really tickles me to think that uh, Scientology inadvertently helped send Danny Masterson to prison because I really do think that is what occurred. I really do think that is what occurred. And let me just take the opportunity to remind everyone, I'll repeat it a million times because I know everyone doesn't watch all my videos. Um, there is still an open grand jury investigation into obstruction of justice by David Miscavige, Scientology, and Danny Masterson in this case. That grand jury is being run by Deputy DA Reinhold Mueller, who is the same Deputy DA who just prosecuted Danny Masterson and sent his ass to prison. I'll tell you what. Again, I want to remind everybody, Lisa Marie Presley, God rest her soul. She's dead. She's not able to testify. But before she died, she did testify. She wouldn't say who told her to obstruct justice, but she did say that David Miscavige is the person she reported back to to report on the results of her attempt to obstruct justice.
Now, did she say that to the grand jury? I can't say that for sure, but she said it. She, we know she, I mean, when I say I can't say it for sure, it's because I can't know for sure, but this came up in the first trial. This came up in the first trial and Almedo said, that's what Lisa Marie Presley was going to testify to in the first trial was that after she tried to, after she went to Jane Doe one to try to prevent Jane Doe one from going to the police, she went back and reported on the results of that conversation directly to David Miscavige and judge Almedo in the first trial said that really, it, that sort of testimony is really more relevant to the civil trial, not the criminal trial. And that's one of the reasons Lisa Marie Presley was never able to testify in this case before she died. Um, okay. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So there's many actions that are still ongoing. There is the grand jury investigation into obstruction of justice. Scientology stands to um, take a beating uh, in that if charges are brought and they could be brought. Um, there is still the civil case um, that that has to do with the um, the harassment that Jane Doe's have been subjected to over the last many years. Um, the allegations are against uh, David Miscavige, Scientology and Danny Masterson. There are more legal actions underway. And actually, one question that I should either ask the Jane Doe's directly or I'll ask my lawyer friend, Zach Morgan, is you guys know how in the O.J. Simpson case, there was the criminal trial and then there was the civil trial for pretty much the same thing. I know legally it wasn't the same thing, but pretty much the same thing. Would we see that in this case too? Because right now, guys, remember, the civil trial is not for the rapes. The civil trial is for the harassment that Jane Doe's have been subjected to since I think about 2016. Could we see civil? Could we see civil actions being brought by Jane Doe One and Jane Doe Two now that they have guilty verdicts? That would be really interesting to know. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to say about this? Um, those are probably all my thoughts for right now. Um, let me jump over to the chats real quick. A little bit for the Aftermath Foundation. Amanda Rosenblatt, thank you for the super chat. Rusty, uh, this is for Goldie. Awesome, Rusty. Thank you for the super chat. Gur Roar, haven't seen you in a while, Gur Roar. As a cult and child, then date rape survivor. I can say this news makes me so full of joy hearing this. Thanks, A.A. Run. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for that, Gur Roar. And I'm sorry to hear that uh, you've experienced all that. Uh, E.G. Johnson, we should do three things every day of our life. Number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is to think. We should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions moved to tears. Wow, that's an amazing quote. Um, from Jim Valvano. I got to admit, I don't know who Jim Valvano is. I grew up in a cult. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'll have to look him up later, but thank you, E.G. Johnson. Dave Owens, I'd love to be a fly on David Miscavige's wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Kalen Caldwell, justice had been served. Would have loved to seen his face being put his handcuffs and led away. Yes, this is the, the real uh, horrible thing about there not being cameras in the courtroom. Oh, my God, I would have loved to hear Danny. Uh, been, been able to see Danny cuffed and dragged away and um I, I will admit i would have also loved to have heard bijou scream no which is apparently what she did before the judge asked if she was okay or did she need to leave okay chris oc big day so happy the jane does got some uh, justice served been super busy lately so i haven't been able to jump in on a live yeah i haven't seen you in a while either but i've been keeping up with your coverage aa run danny enjoy san quentin indeed E.G. Johnson, I respect the jury's verdict, and I believe Jane Doe 3, 100%. Uh, Karen, and, oh, 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 and let, let, let's just also remind something else. So remember, 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 the. Oh, the um, uh, uh, sorry, I guess, <laughs> my cat's got my tongue. So for Jane Doe 3, remember, there's two incidents. There's no, November hair pulling incident, and then there's the December drugging and raping incident. Um, the December incident is... Uh, the way most people would consider it, probably, if we're just being totally blunt here, more what you would conventionally think of as rape. It, 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 you know, if you if you fully compare the two incidents, and yet, and and so the jury saying we're hung. Remember, the jury didn't say Danny. The, the jury didn't find Danny innocent on Jane Doe three. They just said we couldn't come to a unanimous verdict. Eight of the twelve jurors voted guilty for Jane Doe three. Only four um, were leaning towards not guilty. And remember, not guilty means there was evidentiary, uh, evident, you know, evidence issues. So my point being, they didn't find him not guilty. And also, 
if they had uh, if they had been evaluating the December incident, and if it had been within the statute of limitations, one hundred percent they would have found him guilty on that. Um, okay, Paige Katie, Paige Katie, hi Paige Katie. <laughs> I wonder how the jurors are feeling now that they are free to watch social media. Oh boy, I bet the jurors are. Yeah, exactly. I, I bet they're dying to uh, um, to see what's being covered. Oh, by the way, if you were a juror on this trial and you would like to talk to me about your experience, my inbox is open. Jump into the DMs. Growing up in Scientology at gmail.com. Uh, okay. Neil Turton. Thanks, A.A. Ron Justice for the Jane Doe's and another nail in the coffin for Scientology. Indeed. Indeed. Jermaine Down. New merch idea. Rogue Thetan. I like it. I like it. Uh, Dave Owens, what kind of damage control is OSA doing? Any? Woo, you know, that's actually really hard for me to even guess. Because there's something in Scientology called forwarding an enemy line. Um, and what that means, an enemy is your enemy. A line is something they say. And forwarding is repeating it. So, for example, if someone were to run around a Scientology organization and say... Scientology is not a cult because X, Y, and Z. Well, they would get in trouble for having forwarded the line, uh, the first part of the sentence. Scientology is not a cult. Why, why, why are you talking about Scientology being a cult? You're forwarding the enemy line by even starting out your conversation that way. So I'm, I'm talking about that because it's considered a, a big offense. You're not allowed to forward enemy lines. You're not allowed to spread. It's good to call it spreading and theta. Um, and theta in Scientology is just a word for upsetting information. And uh, so it's really hard because in order to do damage control, you kind of have to spread the information in the first place. And so OSA is in a tough spot here. I think right now what they're probably doing is a whole lot of nothing. Uh, uh, truthfully, that's my best guess. Um, mitzism. Wait, mitzism? Wait, mit? Mitzism. I like that. What do you think David Miscavige is doing right now? I think he's drinking um, his second bottle of scotch of the night is my best guess. <laughs> Uh, Claudia Heider. I can't wait to see Danny's smug shot. Actually, I, I know you meant mug shot, but I see what you did there. So you mentioned he can't afford another big lawyer for his appeal. How do you know he is really broke, broke? Uh, get them where they hurt. Well, because, I, uh, well, I mean, look, do I really know that he's broke, broke? I mean, no. I do have some circumstantial evidence that he's, uh, that he's broke. Could he have shifted some assets around? Well, we already know he tried to do that. But this, uh, you know, th this case has been going on for years. The trial hasn't been going on for years, but the case has been. Uh, and the master sins, I mean, look, all it does is one successful show that goes into syndication and you're usually set for life. But there was a lot of cast members in that show, that 70s show. Danny wasn't exactly the star. I don't know exactly what his financial arrangement was with that show, but he's had other shows since then that he's been cut out of. Um, my, what I'm trying to get to here is Danny ain't worked in years. So um, I don't mean to say that he literally, I'm, and also all the, the all, most of the Masterson family are involved in showbiz. I'm sure they could scrape up some money for an attorney. So I'm sure he's not bankrupt broke. How about that? He's not bankrupt broke, at least not yet. Um, but you know, he doesn't have to pay a mortgage in prison. I'm sure his wife's going to divorce him in no time and take the kids. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, Jesus. Okay, MD Nix. Thank you for all your hard work. Hashtag justice is served. Well, it's truly been my pleasure. Snow, seeing your guilty headline made me so happy today. <laughs> uh, glad to hear it. Thank you, Snow. Kalila McDonald. Nope, nope not Kalila. It's Kila. Kila? Kyla. I want to say Kyla. Kyla McDonald. Thank you for covering this trial, being there for the Janes and remaining accessible to all of us. All SP, all of SPTV is amazing. And thank you. A special thanks to Superwoman Goldie. Yes, Goldie, she's always there when you need her. She is quite literally always there. It is, it is spectacular. I wonder if there's more than one of her. Maybe it's like, what is it? Um, <laughs> I'm going to forget what it is. Is it like uh, one of those superheroes where, you know, pe people step in and out? You, it, multiple people can wear the costume. <laughs> I don't know. Am I thinking of Batman? I don't know. All right. Celtic warrior. What do you think Scientology is doing now to prep? Oh, yeah. Well, the one, the one group, the one, um, uh, what do I want to say? The one demographic 
that's very happy with everything that's happening right now is Scientology's attorneys because they're getting ready to get paid. They're getting ready to go to work. They're getting ready to put in those billable hours. Um, Vicky Podbereski is probably thrilled that Danny Masters went to prison. I mean, she's just there for the dollars, you guys. She's not married to any of these people. She's not emotionally invested in any of this. She's there for the Benjamins. So, you know, now that the criminal trial is over, the civil trial is going to get uh, rocking and rolling. And Vicky Podbureski represents every single Scientologist implicated in the civil trial. So Scientology, in order to prep, is getting all of their lawyers uh, whipped into shape. And uh, that really is what your donations buy. Uh, you Scientologists out there, you might think your donations buy a whole lot of stuff. They generally buy a whole lot of nothing but billable attorney hours. So that's what's happening right now. Uh, Kendall Links would be great to have the civil trial tele televised. Thank you for your coverage. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting. Like, um, because I know, for example, like, I don't expect Jane Doe one to now become a public person. Um, so like, you know, you know, Chr Chrissy Bixler was a public person before all this started, and I expect her to go back to being a public person, but not Jane Doe 1, for example, not Jane Doe 2, for example. So even for the civil trial, I mean, if you have to ask me, the reason nothing was televised in this case is because the victims are Jane Doe's. I'm sort of guessing the same would be true for the civil trial, but I don't know how that works. That's a perfect question for my lawyer friend, Zach Morgan. But um, I'll tell you, if it's televised, it would make my whole job a lot easier because it'd be easier for me to cover this stuff from the comfort of my home in Clearwater, Florida, instead of being in Los Angeles. It would be good for me, um, but we'll have to see. Okay, um, Noelle Blue, the rapist's wife crying, no, she must have been ch channeling his victims. Oh, Jesus. Thank God he is moving to prison. Thank you for your hard work, AA Run. Well, thank you very much, Noelle Blue. I appreciate it. Uh, Seneca. Isn't a case pending in Canada? Will DM have to appear? Will it go forward? Seneca, I don't know that an actual case is pending because I don't think he's been charged with anything. What I do know is that the investigation, like the, the police report has been filed. There is an open investigation. Well, actually, you, know, you said case pending. So yeah, if there's an open investigation, that's a case pending, right? I don't know. Is it is it called a case if it's uh, just an investigation? Yeah, maybe. Why wouldn't it be? So what I know is that the, the case is open. What I do believe is that he hasn't actually been charged, but that there's no statute of limitations on what occurred in Canada and that he could be charged. And now you have to ask yourself, then why wouldn't he be? How about that? Oh, that's another question for my lawyer friend, Zach Morgan. If you're sitting in an American jail, prison, uh, guilty of this crime of forcible rape, can you be extradited to Canada to be tried there? Or is it just from a, the U.S. perspective, a total waste of time? That's a really good that's a really good thing for us to dig into more. He could potentially still be facing criminal charges in Canada. We'll have to try to understand that better. Thank you, Seneca. Uh, 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 Luna 3120. I wasn't able to send this earlier. Don't apologize for your emotions. They are valid. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Passenger shaming. Always good to see you in here, passenger shaming. It's been a long road. Thank you for doing this. Aaron, justice has been served. I cried along with you. Love to all the Jane Does. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Danny Yates, so happy and love to all involved from Australia. Long live SPTV. Love all my Australian viewers. It's one of the places I want to go most that I haven't been. The only other one is Dublin. I got to go to Dublin. I want to go to Brisbane, Australia. You know, my youngest daughter's named Brisbane. Um, want to go to Brisbane. Love all the big Australian cities, though. I've got friends in all of them. Uh, eat more pizza now, says Danny will need to learn how to make pruno now. <laughs> I don't know what Pruno is, but I'm guessing it, it's a close cousin to toilet wine. Maybe I have seen oranges, the new black, but I don't remember what Pruno is. Um, thank you. Eat more pizza. Now, Jesse Pla, Jesse place, Jesse PL. We'll never know. Thank you for the amazing coverage. What a great victory for the victims today. Well, thank you so much, Jesse Pull. I appreciate it. Uh, Marilyn Honig. When I first saw your face on the live, I didn't know what to think. I was so glad to find out there were tears of joy and relief. I know the Jane Doe's are so grateful to have an amazing friend like you. Oh, that's very nice of you, Marilyn. Yeah, wouldn't that be funny if uh, you tune into the live stream and I look all upset and you're like, oh, I guess it was a not guilty verdict. Yeah. Well, except for the title of the video. <laughs> thank you, Marilyn. Cynthia Palanzi, thank you very much. Stone Lux Jewelry. OMG, I've been waiting for this verdict. What do you think happens for the wife from here? Uh, if I'm the wife, I'm filing for divorce. I'm taking all the assets. I'm taking the children and I'm moving as far away from Los Angeles as possible. 
that's that's what I would be doing. Uh, Tess Forbes, D uh, Danny Masterson and his minions are professional rake steppers. Yes, that would be true, whether you meant Danny Masterson or David Miscavige. And I think you probably meant David Miscavige. Yep, they're stepping on those rakes, leaving those rakes lying all around. They just go find them and step on them. Uh, Celtic Warrior again. Chances David Miscavige. Wait, chances David Miscavige. She takes a vacation where there's no extradition for a while. So David Miscavige himself is not under um, criminal indictment at this point, but I guess he could be on the obstruction of justice charges. Um, potentially. Potentially. Uh, you know, Mike Rinder has always said he doesn't think Miscavige would run away from like the country. <clears throat> Because it is so easy for him to hide. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's so easy for Miscavige to hide from the authorities while remaining in the comfort of the various compounds that he has stashed away all over the place here in the good old United States of America. So, um, and yeah, I mean, Miscavige is so small. I mean, he could be hiding in uh, Tom Cruise's backpack or uh, Joe Rogan's fanny pack. I mean, the guy the guy goes missing everywhere all the time. It's always a problem. Where's Dave? Where's Dave? We can't find him. Slip through the cracks. You know that little space uh, in, the, in your car between the console and the seat where everything falls down? Miscavige is always falling into that crack. It's really hard to keep track of the guy. Uh, couch, I suggest a good cigar tonight, my man. Well, I know it is Wednesday night. It's getting kind of late here on the East Coast. It's 1030. Um, but uh, we'll see. It's not out of the question. Thank you so much, Couch. I appreciate it. Um, Petrazzi, thanks for all your coverage. I was so happy with the verdict. Love SPTV. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Austin Rare, with this trial in the books and their secrets out in the open, what are the chances that the higher courts investigate this cult? This cult's already being investigated, guys. <laughs> Danny Masterson ain't the biggest problem Scientology's got going on. Let me let me tell you that for sure. <laughs> Scientology has a lot of things to be worried about. I know I'm talking. We're talking about the Danny Masterson trial. We're talking about the grand jury investigation. We're talking about the civil trial. These, while fun to talk about, and I will talk about them over and over and over again, they are the least of Scientology's problems, you guys. I promise you that. I promise you that uh, I won't say anymore because I can't, but that's okay. Uh, Teresa G uh, Gray, Teresa Gray. So happy to see the Jane Doe's finally get justice as a domestic violence survivor. It's nice to see justice prevail. Thank you everyone at SPTV for all you do. Well, thank you so much, Teresa Gray, um, for watching, for commenting, for um, helping the videos, helping us get the word out and everything like that. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. J Dog. Uh, hey, Aaron, I'm the British dude that went to watch the trial and said hello to you. Thanks for the great reporting. Jury service letter arrived same day I got back for the same court, too. Much love, Mr. J Dog. Um, great to hear from you. And uh, there were so many people who showed up. There was even some other people who, while the jury was deliberating, have been showing up, sort of being on jury watch for me, um, trying to help out. And I really appreciate it. So anyway, thank you for coming to the courthouse, and uh, and it was nice meeting you there. Carl, Carrie England, Aaron, my 11-year-old son and I watch you two together, and we want you to know how you, uh, we want to know how you think DM is feeling about the guilty verdict. What will followers be told? Oh, yes, yeah, so you're talking about David Miscavige. Um, uh, maybe you jumped in a little late. I did answer that a little while back. I think for right now, they're not really going to be told anything. Um, it's very hard. It's easy to say that there's some big grand conspiracy on behalf of Leah Remini and these Jane Doe's to embarrass Scientology in the press and make a big deal about this or that. It's easy to say that when things are still happening. Not quite so easy to say that when he was just found guilty by a jury of 12 people who have nothing against Scientology. You know what I mean? So um, I think they're doing a whole lot of nothing. And I think they are putting the attorneys to work. Um, preparing for all eventualities. Um, but yeah, it's a bad day to be David Miscavige and it's a good day not to be in a cult. Okay, Jerry Hack, 15 to life on two counts. Any chance the sentences could run concurrently? Jerry, um, after um, my lawyer friend, Zach Morgan and I discussed this earlier today and some other people jumped into uh, the, the law books on Google and nope, no chance they're served concurrently. They're served consecutively. That's... Uh, the standard operating procedure in this case. Kathy O'Toole, why no perp walk photos after the trial in the media? A lot of people ask me this question over email. There are no cameras in the courtroom or even on the entire floor of the courthouse. 
and uh, meaning you know, in the hallways and whatnot. But that wouldn't matter if they were because in the courtroom, there's a special door that the people who are coming to and from prison go through. They do not get walked through the hallways. They do not go in the elevators with the normal you know, members of the public. They do not come in and out the front doors of the courthouse. There's actually a special garage door that opens up where the bus from the prison comes in and it goes into the basement and they come out. So Danny would have been taken to that bus and that bus would have pulled out. And actually, uh, a, an eagle-eyed journalist maybe would have snapped some video of that bus leaving the courthouse. And that would have been interesting because Danny would have been on it. But there, there was just there was no opportunity. You're not going to see a perp walk when someone in one of those courtrooms on the ninth floor of the Clara Shortridge Fultz Criminal Justice Center is taken into custody. You're not going to see any perp walk. Uh, so there you go. Okay, what's this? Adamantium, Adamantium Blade Comics collect collectibles. I hope this empowers other victims in Scientology who are suffering crimes against them to have the strength and hope to come forward and escape. I believe that is a, a very likely outcome, side effect, result of what has occurred today. DMSC mission in jail, beef sticks and Pruno for audit. Brian Delisle, I appreciate the super chat. I have not a clue what you meant there, um, but it felt right. So thank you, sir. PT Bird, thank you for the super sticker there. Cat and Maggie, with this verdict giving weight to the civil case that includes Scientology, what are your thoughts on how this might or might not affect the IRS status? Happy French dip since you're not in LA. Um, truth be told, I don't think what we're seeing here actually has anything, uh, any impact whatsoever on Scientology's tax exempt status. The other things I'm telling you Scientology has to worry about has a much greater potential of impacting their tax exempt status. Um, relatively low level crime like what we're talking about here. And by low level, I just mean like occurring at the lowest level where it's an, it's individual versus individual. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's not, you know, um, uh, these attacks were perpetrated by Danny Masterson, um, not by the organization. So, you know, so this case itself, legally speaking, nothing to do with Scientology. Um, uh, in many other ways, everything to do with Scientology. But when you're talking about the tax exempt status, um, not uh, uh, even the civil, even the civil case that we're talking about. Now, the obstruction of justice stuff, the obstruction of justice stuff has the potential to maybe have an impact, but again, still not even close to the impact of the other stuff I'm talking about, which is not a secret. I've spoken about it on the channel before the massive, the hundreds of millions of dollars of credit card fraud, identity theft, bank fraud, wire fraud, real Rico shit. That's the stuff Scientology has to worry about when we're talking about tax exempt status, uh, eat more pizza. Now here's a couple bucks to not put on the inmates books. No commissary where the food, where the better food is Jay saying, all right, <laughs> Mary O'Brien. Thank you very much. Um, Nathaniel Wildstone. Thanks Aaron for turning your difficult childhood into a public service. Happy to celebrate justice being served to this toxic criminal organization. Thank you very much. Thank you guys all very, very much. Um, so let's let's leave it at that, you guys. Um, I'm going to put a link to Leah's Substack in the description down below. I'll also put a link to her YouTube channel if you guys want to check out the description and uh, just click on it. You can subscribe to either or both of those. Uh, oh, I got to hide this comment. I got to figure out how to hide this comment. Bada boom. We did it. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching uh, with me late tonight. Jeez, at 10.45. That's all right. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking in there with me. Thanks to everyone who watches until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!